All right, thanks, Steve. Our next guest is Shahad Al-Haley, a first-year Belfour Hesburgh scholar who's gotten extremely involved here on campus. Shahad, welcome to the show. It is so nice to have you here with us. Wondering how you knew you wanted to attend Notre Dame um, and what your major is. I know it's your first year, so do you know yet? Uh, thank you for having me, and I do know I am a chemical engineering major on the pre-med track. Um, I came here actually on admitted student days, and when I came here, the one thing I was looking for was community, because that's the one thing you don't get from a laptop screen. So I was here with my dad, and with first day, first night, after meeting the people, the upperclassmen, the people that welcomed us, the professors, I just, I knew this was the place I was gonna go, and I actually ended up committing that night. And a huge part of it was the faith. Faith is important to me, and I might not be Catholic, but I can see those values here, and that pushed me right towards here. And how has it been being a part of your own faith community in this faith community? Um, it's been incredible because you get a lot of questions here, you know. Um, you're a Muslim student on a Catholic campus, but it also builds that strong bond with your own faith because you question things and you learn more. And the best way to, you know, believe is to know more. So by asking questions and answering questions, um, I've become closer with my own faith as a Muslim on a Catholic campus. That's really good to hear, and I'm glad to hear there's conversation going on. Um, talk to me about what you're involved in here on campus. You're involved in FUEL, F-U-E-L? Yes. What's that? FUEL. Um, FUEL is a part of student government. It's a department within the executive cabinet. Um, it, is, it actually stands for First Undergraduate Experience in Leadership, and it introduces first-year students to student government. You know, it's a very intimidating, huge part on campus and very structured, very big, so many people involved. And basically all the students within FUEL are dispersed throughout student government and they get exposed to every aspect of it. That's so cool. You're also part of the Muslim Student Association. Tell us what that group does. Um, the Muslim Student Association not only builds a community for the Muslims on campus, uh, we are very close and we've been building that community every every week, every meeting, but it's also a community that invites non-Muslims to come and learn, you know, open that dialogue between different faiths. And um, I think the best way to learn about your own faith is by questioning and talking to other people. And so actually we had an Islamic Awareness Week for the first time in a couple of years this year. Um, and we, one of those days was interfaith, and it was an opportunity for anyone to show up. You know, it's, it's a community for Muslims, but everyone is welcome. That's great. And what have you learned about leadership here? Um, I've met so many leaders, and I can say the one thing that truly is inspiring about all of them is how motivated they are. You know, they're all passionate, and I feel like going from high school to college, the big difference here is People do things because they believe in them and they see themselves doing that for the rest of their lives. And a lot of leaders here are so passionate about things they're gonna end up doing forever. And you're only in year one. What's coming up next for you? You said you have a big <laughs> summer planned. Uh, this summer, I will be going to Colorado, Denver. I'll be doing medical research and I'll be getting introduced to the clinical world because I am a pre-med. Um, I, for my future plans, I definitely plan on doing more service, you know, getting ready for medical school. Um, Notre Dame has a great pre-med program, so there's a lot of work to put in there. Excellent. You can hear I need some help with my voice. Oh. <laughs> Allergy <laughs> season. What does it mean for you to be a force for good? Uh, being a force for good is no simple definition, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no Sorry. Worries, no worries. Uh, but for me, it means service, most of all, uh, whether that is to your own family, friends, strangers, your community. A force for good can be very small. It could be like opening a door or it could be very big. You always start somewhere and you stand for what you believe in and stand for change where change needs to be done.
I love it. Your enthusiasm, your good energy is infectious. Thank you for Thank being you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.